Computer Generated Chess Problem 2995 by Chestetica. Well, it seems obvious in this position with the black rook just sitting there that white should capture it. Black captures this pawn, but it's okay because white doesn't need it. Force the mate, king to f5, king to g7, queen to e7 check, king to g8, king to g6. I think you can see where this is going, king to h8 and queen to h7 checkmate on the fifth move. However, would you be surprised if I told you that there's a shorter way to force this mate? You would? Okay, let me prove it to you. There you go, the engines agree. Pawn to f8 with under promotion to rook. Okay, what is the threat here? Let's say rook to e1. Well then, rook to f6 check, king to e5, and there's so many ways, queen to d6 also mates. Now black can last the longest if he buys time with rook to e3 check. The king just captures this rook, king to e5, the only move. And here there's so many ways to proceed. For example, knight to c4 check, king back to e6, and rook to f6 mates. So you might be asking yourself, why doesn't promoting to a queen work? Well, because of rook to f4 check. Now here, if queen captures rook, this is a stalemate. On the other hand, with the under promotion to rook, if rook to f4 check, rook captures rook, and white can still go on to mate because after king to e5, knight to c6 check, king back to e6, and rook to f6 mates. Okay, why doesn't under promotion to a knight with check work? Because of king to e5, defending the rook. And at this point, even if queen to e7 check, king to d4, queen captures rook check, king to c3, and as you can see, it's going to take some more moves, 6-7 moves to force the mate. So looking back at this original position, do you think you would have seen the correct move? If so, you're probably a better player than you think. 